Mega Man has a lot of robot masters. It's one of the big appeals of the series if you were unaware, but some of them have got to be stupid, right? Well, I guess we'll find out today because we're going over the stupidest robot master from every Mega Man game, 1 through 11. And uh, if you don't think stupider is a word, then you're even stupider-er than the robot masters. Mega Man 1, the first Mega Man game ever made, only has six Robot Masters to choose from, so there's less chances for the Robot Masters to be stupid. But one of them still has to be the stupidest, since that's what stupidest means. It is a word, don't tell me it's not. It's literally in the dictionary, you illiterate doofy. Doofy is a word too, it's the plural of doofus, but don't even get me started on that. Anyway, you're probably thinking that Gutsman is the stupidest Robot Master because his name is Gutsman, and uh, that's kind of weird. And while he may have a stupid name, he isn't really a stupid robot master at all. He's clearly useful as a construction based robot master and I assume this guy can lift pretty big rocks to help out with construction. In fact, I don't even have to assume that, he literally does lift giant rocks in his boss fight. So Gutsman cannot be stupid because he has a productive use case. A stupid robot master would need to be pointless and not make any sense. That does make sense, right guys? Elecman I assume does electricity related things that wouldn't be safe for human to deal with so he's not stupid at all. He kind of looks a little bit stupid but I'm sure he's a useful robot. Plus he is pretty strong so he's definitely useful at fighting Mega Man which makes him not stupid. Bomb Man might also seem stupid at first because why would you give a robot bombs but I can give you two very good reasons. First of all deconstructing and demolition purposes which was probably the whole reason he was you know created. And secondly to kill Mega Man. Bombs are deadly and at the end of the day he is a robot master Mega Man has to face, so he's not stupid at all. Iceman seems a little weird, but maybe this guy can help fix the global warming and climate change problems, which isn't stupid at all. I don't really know why else you would need an Iceman. Maybe he's just doing some robot duties up in Antarctica, but he doesn't seem stupid to me. Fireman, on the other hand, is a little more stupid, maybe, because maybe he's in charge of those controlled forest fires or whatever, but this is getting closer to stupid territory. Luckily, even if he was stupid and had no real world benefit, fire is a pretty deadly thing that could be used to kill Mega Man, so he's at least not stupid in that regard. Which only leaves us with Cutman, the sentient pair of scissors. Yeah, this guy is the stupidest. What does this guy do? Cut down trees? Why wouldn't he just be Chainsaw Man at that point? I know there's an anime of the same name, but Mega Man would have been way ahead of their time if they made Cutman make sense. But instead, he's basically Scissors Man, which is crazy and makes no sense at all. He's not even good at taking down Mega Man due to metal being generally pretty hard to cut with scissors and Cutman's easy fight being proof of this. I like Cutman and he's obviously not the worst robot master but he is stupid. I mean, he's a robot pair of scissors. So congratulations Cutman, you are the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 1. Mega Man 2, more like Mega Man Stew, Pid. <laughs> okay, Mega Man 2 isn't stupid and that joke was dumb. First of all, there are a couple of Robot Masters similar to the ones from Mega Man 1, so let's get those out of the way. Heat Man is a lot like Fire Man, so he's not stupid for the same reasons. Crash Man is basically a better Bomb Man, so he's obviously not stupid. But the rest of these guys are unique, so let's start with Flash Man. This guy's weapon won the award for the stupidest weapon since it stops time, among other things. But as a boss, this guy is very useful to civilization. Imagine how many situations Flashman could help by freezing time for just a few seconds. I'm not going to list them here, but there are tons. Just trust me, he's not stupid. Quick Man isn't stupid for similar reasons. He can't freeze time, but he's very fast, so I could imagine him being a great robot to go on rescue missions or something, or, you know, really anything that needs a quick moving robot. It's very useful and not stupid at all. Metal Man is a little bit weird because I don't fully understand what he does due to him just throwing gears at me during our boss fight, but I assume he works with Metal somehow, I mean it's in his name. I don't know if he welds or builds machines with gears or something, but either way, he can't be all that stupid. Plus, it's Metal Man, he's deadly and throws sharp pieces of metal at you, which is not stupid. This leaves us with our three stupidest bosses from this game, and it's pretty close. We have Wood Man, Air Man, and Bubble Man. Now, Air Man seems like he's just a portable air conditioner, which is pretty stupid, but he shoots tornadoes at you in the fight, so maybe he can control the weather somehow? If all he can do is make 
like tornadoes though, that isn't really helpful, so that is stupid, but it at least isn't stupid in the context of killing Mega Man, so he is not the stupidest. Woodman is a bit weird, because like, wood and robots don't typically mix, and I don't understand the point of this guy. Like, Mega Man isn't allergic to wood, and Woodman doesn't really have any super powerful attacks, so what does he do? Plant trees? I guess that's nice, but Mr. B seems to have that covered, so I don't know why we would need a robot for that. I guess he's not completely stupid if he's planting trees and taking care of forest ecosystems somehow, but we really don't know any of that for sure, so I'm just gonna have to assume that he's not the stupidest. Bubble Man, on the other hand, I mean, bruh, what does this guy do? He doesn't put up a good fight against Mega Man with those bubbles of his, especially since Mega Man is waterproof, and like, practically, does he just blow bubbles underwater? I can't even make the same argument as Woodman with him helping the ocean ecosystem or something, because for all I know, he can only blow bubbles. How is that helping? I mean, I think this pick was obvious, but congratulations, Bubble Man, you are the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 2. Mega Man 3, more like Mega Man P. I think in the manual for this game, they talk about how most of the Robot Masters are from other planets, which is just crazy, but that automatically makes most of them not stupid. For example, Gemini Man doesn't make any sense. I'm not into astrology, but if Gemini Man is an alien, then it all makes sense. Magnet Man is a little bit stupid because normally magnets and computers cannot go together without causing major problems, but I'm just going to assume Magnet Man was engineered very wisely and helps out a lot with things, so he's not stupid but he could be. Shadow Man is a ninja. I don't know what real world use he would have, but he sure is good at fighting Mega Man, and he makes sense as a combat robot master, so he's not stupid at all. Spark Man is pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why a robot would need to produce sparks specifically, but if this is an electricity-inclined robot in any capacity, then it is not stupid as a robot master. And I would assume Spark Man is electrically inclined somehow, so Spark Man is not stupid. Needle Man is a little bit weird. This guy could be a medical robot that induces his vaccines and shots to people, but his needles are some of the thickest I've ever seen. I'm not letting him anywhere near my veins, but I don't think he's stupid. Snake Man, on the other hand, is a weird case. Why do you need a robot based around snakes? I mean, he's cool, but I don't think he has any real-world practicality, even if he was in a zoo snake enclosure. But he is good at fighting Mega Man and makes sense as a combat robot, so I can't call him the stupidest. This, of course, leaves Top Man and Hard Man, which is an epic battle for the stupidest robot master. Like, Top Man is based off of a top, you know, those things that spin. Uh, for all you Gen Z people watching, they were like fidget spinners, but for boomers. Pretty pointless for a robot to be designed like this, but at least maybe it could work in a combat sense by making Mega Man dizzy. Whereas Hard Man, on the other hand, is just Hard Man. What does that even mean? Why is this a robot and what does he do? I can't even come up with any crazy real life application, and it certainly doesn't make sense as a combat robot, so yeah, I guess Hard man is the stupidest. I mean, Top Man is real dumb, so this is a major upset pulled by old Hard Man here, so congratulations, Hard Man, you were the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 3. Mega Man 4 has been officially copyrighted as the fan favorite of Tudor P subscribers, so if this is your favorite Mega Man game or you like it at all, you have to subscribe. Sorry, I don't make the rules, you gotta do it. Anyway, there aren't a lot of stupid robot masters in this game. For example, Dive Man is what Bubble Man should have been. I could imagine a lot of real life practical things that Dive Man does underwater that isn't just blowing bubbles, like, uh, you know, dive and stuff. Either way, he's not stupid. Dust Man seems like a great cleaning robot. I mean, he's very organized, so I'm sure he could work as a vacuum cleaner. Plus, he shoots compressed garbage blocks at you in the fight, so maybe he can even crush trash together into more efficient blocks that take up less space, meaning he is definitely not stupid. You might think that Toad Man is stupid, but first of all, I like Toad Man, and more importantly, he can make it rain. This would help so many ecosystems around the world, and is really just a good and useful thing in general, so Toad Man is not stupid. Plus, again, I love Toad Man, I would never call him stupid. Bright Man might also seem stupid due to that look on his face he has all the time, but if you were in a dark room, this guy would be super useful. I mean, he's a walking light bulb. That's very useful. Plus, I assume his flash attack could be useful to stun enemies in a combat scenario, so this isn't a stupid robot at all. Pharaoh Man is another weird one, but I could see him as a perfect fit in a museum or something in the pyramid section. I mean, maybe that's a little weird, but I love his design, and I think that would be a good practical spot for this robot master. Plus, he can control the 
the sun or something, and that's gotta be useful somewhere, right? So Skullman is kinda similar, he's really cool and would probably be in a museum or maybe an anatomy classroom, but even in a combat scenario, his skeleton design would strike fear into his enemies, so he's not even the slightest bit stupid. Drillman, on the other hand, is getting much more stupid because, like, you can just buy a drill. You don't need a robot for this. I guess maybe he can do more industrial-sized drilling situations, but come on, guys. This is a drill that walks. Plus, he also explodes, so you know what? Maybe he'd be useful in the mines or something. But the stupidest robot master is unfortunately one of my favorites. Ring Man. I mean, what does this guy do? Give you a ring? Anybody can do that. In fact, you don't even need a third party to give you a ring. Just pick one up and put it on. Rings are not even good weapons, so I can't even make the argument that he's a combat robot. I really wanted Drill Man to be the stupidest, but Ring Man just doesn't make any sense. Maybe Sonic would like this guy, but as for the rest of humanity, he's pretty dumb. So I'm sorry, Ring Man, but you are the stupidest robots from Mega Man 4. Mega Man 5 is a great game, and I love it along with all of its robot masters, but logically, pretty much every robot master from this game is stupid. Maybe Stone Man isn't so dumb, but he's just another construction robot at best, so not the best start. Gravity Man is just a strange robot master. Maybe he'd be useful in a space station to regulate gravity on the inside somehow, but I think NASA has that covered. Plus, Star Man probably does the same thing, but maybe he just helps out on actual planets or out in space. I don't know, but I don't think either one of these guys are the stupidest. Wave Man is pretty pointless, but he'd be a good fit for a vacation resort in a pool or something. He can make some waves and let the surfers have fun or something if they don't want to go to the ocean. Or if the ocean is too calm, he can make waves. I mean, not that stupid, but pretty lame at least. Crystal Man is just weird. Unless he can tell you our future with that big crystal ball on his head, I don't know what his purpose is. Maybe he's another robot that can help out in the mine somehow, even though he doesn't have any way to actually mine. Maybe he has AI programming that can help locate crystals in mines, but I don't know, that's pretty dumb. Charge Man is just a small train that's alive. Maybe he'd be good for small train shipments, but this one again feels like a pretty pointless robot master. Gyro Man is just dumb. He's not the most stupid, but what's the point of this guy? Does he help out with gyroscopic designs of some sort? Even if he does, that's still pretty dumb, but he's still not the stupidest. That honor would have to go to Napalm Man because he's flat out disrespectful to the country of Vietnam. I mean, using napalm is a war crime, right? I actually don't know and I'm not looking it up, but it should be if it isn't. And his stage is literally Vietnam, which is why Mega Man 5 is banned in Vietnam. So, uh, yeah, just for getting the game banned in Nam, Napalm Man is the stupidest robot master in Mega Man 5. Mega Man 6, the most polished Mega Man game on the NES, at least allegedly, but it has a lot of robot masters that are really only useful in museum situations like Pharaoh Man. For example, Night Man, I mean, sure, he'd be great in combat, I guess, but he'd be more useful in a medieval section of a museum, right? Same goes for Yo Mama Man and Tomahawk Man. I mean, all three of these guys are good combat robots already, so they aren't stupid, but in practicality, they really only make sense in a museum or something like that, at least to me. I mean, okay, maybe Tomahawk Man could be at an axe throwing range teaching people how to aim, but he doesn't know anything about axes. He's Tomahawk Man, for goodness sake. Anyway, Flame Man is similar to Fire Man and Heat Man. I guess he can do controlled fires or something, but he's good at combat either way, so I'm not going to question his stupidity because he's not stupid. Blizzard Man could probably put out any non-controlled forest fires that happen naturally or something. Plus, I love snow, so I would love for Blizzard Man to control the weather where I live. Blizzards are a little extreme, but I assume he has some self-control and can also just make it snow, meaning we have a another weather controlling robot master that is not stupid. Plant Man is a little bit weird, but I guess like Woodman, he probably helps out around nature and improves ecosystems and such in one way or another. He's obviously not a combat robot though, as we can tell by his boss battles since he's so easy. Windman is a portable air conditioner. I think this is a little bit overkill to make an entire robot based around this since you could also have a portable fan, but he seems to be a weaker version of Airman from what I can tell. He does make tornadoes too, but not nearly as many, and the few that he does make are also weaker. But you know what? Portable air conditioners aren't too bad. I mean, they're very useful. It's weird to make a full-on sentient robot for an air conditioner, but it's not stupid. You know what is stupid though? Centaur Man. I mean, come on, why is this a robot master? Combat-wise, it doesn't make sense. In practicality, what is a centaur gonna do? You could make the same museum argument, I guess, but guys, centaurs aren't even real. This guy is just simply a waste of resources and was not a good idea by Dr. Wily or Mr. X or Dr. Light or whoever 
made this guy, so uh, congratulations, Centaur Man. You are the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 6. With the first half of the robot masters taken care of, we obviously have to move on to the second half. But first, I have a pop quiz for the folks at home. Here's your question. What is the best way to get good at Mega Man? Is the answer A, practice and play the game a lot, B, watch speedruns of the game, C, watch YouTube video guides and tutorials, or D, subscribing to Tutor P? Alright, is everyone's answer locked in? Good. The answer is A, practice and play a lot. What, you thought, you thought it was D, t subscribing to Tutor P? Well, I mean, that certainly does help, and it instantly raises your skill level, but come on, guys, there's no better way to get good at Mega Man than practicing and playing the game a lot. Let's not be silly here, guys. Mega Man 7, the first game on the Super Nintendo, probably has a lot less stupid robot masters, right? I mean, it has twice as many bits, but I guess we'll see. Cloud Man obviously is not stupid. He controls the weather, which is obviously very useful and would be extremely helpful in certain parts of the world, so there's no way Cloud Man is stupid. Freeze Man isn't stupid for similar reasons. I mean, he's not as not stupid as Cloud Man, but having the ability to freeze things or make things cold anywhere is very useful. Or, you know, maybe he just works in Antarctica, who knows? Either way, he's not stupid either. Junk Man might seem stupid, but I bet he would work great around a trash compactor or in a junkyard. I mean, it's in his name. Do you really disagree? I hope not. Burst Man is honestly a little bit stupid, but not entirely. He can work on demolition similar to the other bomb robot masters, except Burst Man is underwater, which is something the other demolition robot masters do not have on their resume. So with Burst Man being entirely engineered to make explosives underwater with those bubble bombs, I'd say he is not very stupid. I'm not exactly sure how that would be very useful, but I'm sure it would be somehow. Turbo Man is literally a transformer. Aside from being cool, there are a litany of reasons this guy could be useful. I mean, heck, he could even just give you a lift from time to time, and that alone would make him not stupid. Shade Man, on the other hand, is a little bit different, but first of all, being a vampire robot, he would work very well in combat, so he always has that going for him. Plus, I think he would be a great addition to any haunted house. Imagine getting jump scared by all the paid actors in suits, and then you see a literal flying vampire. Pretty scary if you ask me, meaning he's not stupid. Slash Man, on the other hand, is a little bit stupid. He's good at combat, so he's not the stupidest, but I don't really understand the point of this guy. His stage is based around dinosaurs and I guess his design is too, so like, I don't know. At least his slashing ability is more useful than Cut Man's scissors, so he can't be that dumb. The stupidest robot master from this game though was obviously Spring Man. I mean, come on, we all saw this coming. I'm not saying there's zero use cases for this guy because I'm sure we could all come up with a silly scenario where Spring Man would be helpful, but this is just a goofy design for a robot. Why do we need Spring Man? Was this not brought up at the board meeting with Dr. Wily? Whoever built and design this guy would have been more useful elsewhere. So yeah, you wasted resources. Congratulations, Spring Man. You are the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 7. Mega Man 8 has a lot of stupid robot masters, and the stupidest will probably shock you. First of all, you might be thinking it's Clown Man, but I think he would make a great animatronic at a circus. Sure, he's a little weird, but so is the circus, and clowns. As much as I would love to make fun of Clown Man and call him stupid, I actually do not think he's the most stupid. Frost Man is another ice boss, so uh, he's not stupid for the same reasons I've given out time and time again. Tingu Man is pretty cool, and I'm not exactly sure what the point of him is, because I don't know what Tingu is, but uh, he can fly, so there's that. He could give you a lift even better than Turbo Man. Plus, he is good at combat, so he can't be all that stupid. Aquaman would be great in parts of the world without clean water. I mean, this may be the least stupid robot master in the entire series. I know Mr. Beast also has covered this, but we can't expect Mr. Beast to do everything, guys. Give him a break. Search Man is weird, but he'd be great for search and rescue missions, or really anything that needs searching, because I assume he's better at it than humans, and I don't think that assumption is a very big stretch, so he's not not stupid. The sword Man is just a combat robot. I mean, it is a little bit weird to make a robot and give it a sword instead of a gun since that is a little bit behind the times, but he's still a great soldier I'd imagine, so I can't call him stupid. Astro Man is a little bit weird because he's like an alien, but you know what he'd be good for? Giving space presentations in an auditorium. A lot of auditoriums use projectors to project images of space on the ceiling and walls and stuff, but Astro Man has one built in pre-installed, so he would be great at these presentations, meaning he's not stupid. 
stupid. Heck, I'd love to see a space presentation from Astro Man. I think that would be a great time. This, of course, leaves Grenade Man, and you might be thinking, hey, this is just another demolition or bomb robot master. How is he the most stupid? Well, instead of shooting or creating explosives, this guy is the explosive, so he has one use. He's literally a grenade. Look at him. He's a sentient grenade. Sure, he would be useful in demolition, once, and that's not only stupid, but a waste of resources and a robot life. So despite being funny, I'm sorry Grenade Man, but you are the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 8. Oh yeah, you already know what time it is. It's Rockman and Forte time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that every robot master from this game is super cool and not stupid at all in the slightest. Except for the two Mega Man 8 transfers. They're stupid just from being reused from Mega Man 8. Those robot masters are of course Astro Man and Tingu Man. And despite Tingu Man being cool, I'm gonna have to call him the stupidest robot master because I still want to go to a space presentation by Astro Man, so yeah. Sorry Tingu Man, but you are the stupidest robot master from Rockman and Forte. Mega Man 9 brings us right back to 8 bits, but let's see which one of these robot masters is the most 2 bit, meaning simple minded, or in other words, stupid. First of all, Concrete Man is very useful and not stupid at all. He's probably the most useful and least stupid construction robot master we've seen so far, which is impressive because we've seen a lot of them. Magma Man isn't stupid for the same reason as every other fire or heat boss, so yeah, I don't want to say the same thing over and over again, guys, come on. Galaxy Man is very similar to Astro Man, but he doesn't have the ability to give space presentations, but despite that, I still don't think he's stupid. First of all, he can fly, which is already very useful, but also, like I talked about thoroughly in the stupid weapons video, this guy can produce black holes! Not only is that very dangerous, but it's also very powerful. If we can get this guy in space very far away from our own galaxy and somehow harness the power of those black holes, then all of our energy problems throughout the world would be solved, among many other things. Sure, that would be very hard to do, but I feel like the hard part is making a black hole, which Galaxy Man does, so he's not stupid. Splash Woman is like a mix of Dive Man and Bubble Man. I assume she can do more than Splash, at least I hope so, meaning she's more useful than Bubble Man, but not as useful as Dive Man. So maybe she's dumb, but I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and assume she can help fish or something, since she does call some to her aid in her fight. Maybe she can communicate with fish, I don't know. Plus, if I called the only woman robot master the stupidest from this game, I would probably get cancelled. And more importantly, Importantly, I like Splash Woman, she's not stupid. Tornado Man is another copy of Wind Man and Air Man, except this guy seems way more powerful than both of them when it comes to tornadoes. Now, tornadoes are bad for the environment, but they're good for the environment of your enemy if you're picking up what I'm putting down. So Tornado Man would make for a good combat robot master, meaning he's not stupid. Plug Man is a little weird because I would assume he's like a portable charger, but he actually has the male part of a plug on his head and not the female part, meaning he plugs into stuff. I guess that's to charge him up, but he does produce electricity, so that's still useful to a degree. A lot less useful than most of the robot masters we've gone over, but I wouldn't call him the stupidest. Hornet Man can control bees, so I guess he would be like a beekeeper that can never get stung since he's made of metal. Okay, okay, I know they're hornets, but like, that's close enough, right? Meaning the stupidest robot master is Jewel Man. Now, I like Jewel Man, and I think he's very pretty, but what does he do? This is a similar dilemma to Crystal Man, except Jewel Man's comp competition is much more fierce. I guess Jewel Man could be a model for fashion or something, but that's about it, and that's pretty stupid. So I'm sorry Jewel Man, but you are the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 9. Mega Man 10 has somewhat stupider robot masters than Mega Man 9, but none of them are outright stupid, so this will be hard. First of all, we have Blade Man. I mean, this guy could be used for a million reasons, and combat is definitely one of them. Once again, this is a major upgrade over Cut Man, so he is not stupid at all. Commando Man is another demolition robot that could also be useful in combat, so he's not stupid. Chill Man is another ice robot master, and none of them have been the stupidest, so Chill Man will not be either. And I'm not explaining why for the 100th time. Solar Man is kind Kind of like Pharaoh Man, but a little bit more lame. I guess he can control the sun, or at least fire of some type, making him useful and not stupid at all. But he is stupider than Pharaoh Man, but then again, who isn't? Pump Man is a weird robot master, but he can produce water in a fashion I assume is similar to an aqueduct, so this guy can't be stupid. Maybe he's more like a well, but either way, this guy isn't stupid. Nitro Man is another Transformer robot master, but this guy transforms into a motorcycle, so he's even cooler and less stupid than Turbo Man. I assume he also 
also use his Nitro to go extra fast, so he would be great in getting you from point A to point B in a timely manner. At least I assume. I'm not sure if he'd let you ride him, but he better, or else that would be stupid. Now, Strike Man, you might think is the stupidest because he is literally a big fat baseball, but he'd be great at the batting range or as a baseball coach in general. I mean, if he just did what he loved instead of trying to kill Mega Man, I'm sure he'd have a very positive impact on the community. He could lead MLB teams to the championship or teach aspiring baseball players how to bat and pitch, so he isn't stupid at all. Which only leaves us with Sheep Man, and uh, yeah, Sheep Man is the stupidest. I don't know what the point of Sheep Man could be. I mean, sheep copy each other, so maybe you could put him in a herd of rowdy sheep and tell him to get the other sheep to follow him around, but there are dogs that have been bred to take care of that problem for you already, so this is not very useful. Now, Sheep Wave, on the other hand, that guy is smart and really good at making music, so if we're talking about him, he'd be the smartest. But we aren't. We're talking about Sheep Man. And I'm sorry, Sheep Man, I do like you, but you are the stupidest robot master from Mega Man 10. Mega Man 11 actually has some of the most basic and stereotypical robot masters, so it's going to be pretty hard to find the stupidest, but I already have an idea in mind, and it will shock you, so buckle up, jamers. First of all, we have Blockman, another construction robot master that is not stupid because of how useful he is. We also have Impact Man, who's the opposite with demolition stuff. Once again, not stupid. Blast Man has bombs, and while they are very slow, I'm sure he could help Impact Man out a lot with those demolition duties, so Blast Man is not stupid. Tundra Man is isn't stupid for the same reason as all the other cold robot masters aren't stupid, and Torch Man isn't stupid for the same reason all the other fire robot masters aren't stupid. Acid Man might seem stupid and like he has no uses, but I bet he would make for a great assistant in a chemistry lab or something. He'd at least be helpful in some place in the chemistry field, so Acid Man isn't stupid either as long as he doesn't bring that mini boss of his along since we all know that thing doesn't keep up with the pH very accurately. But I've talked about that way too much in my mini boss videos already. Bounce Man also seems super stupid and uh okay well bounce man is fairly stupid but he looks like fun maybe he could make a bouncy castle or be a beach ball for some sort of event the problem here is i don't know if he's made of metal or balloon like material if he's made out of balloon like material then he definitely has a lot of uses and not stupid in the slightest but if he's made of metal well maybe he could uh help uh, a carnival as like a ride like you know those toys that are just giant bouncy balls with handles on them that kids use maybe bounce man could be like a giant version of that that would be fun the stupidest robot master, however, is actually Fuse Man. This might seem weird, but hear me out. Now, how many of you guys know what a fuse is? Raise your hand. To put it in basic terms, it's basically a part on a circuit board that tries to protect it from being short-circuited. So, like, if your gaming console is plugged in while there's a thunderstorm going on and it turns out to be broken the next day, odds are replacing the fuse would fix it if the fuse did its job and saved the main components. It's actually one of the easiest fixes for a broken console, especially in PlayStation 2s. That being said, said, why is this a robot? Does Fuse Man camp out by more important robots and make sure they don't get short-circuited by electric currents? If that's the case, why don't they just have fuses? Besides, how do you replace Fuse Man? He does have two fuses in his head, it appears, but like, what does that mean? He has two lives before you have to replace them? This is just a confusing robot master, and it seems pointless if you know what a fuse is, so uh, I'll probably get a lot of hate for this, but I do know what a fuse is, so congratulations, Fuse Man, you are the stupidest robot master from from Mega Man 11. Those were the stupidest robot masters from every Mega Man game 1 through 11. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, maybe next week we'll do a video on the stupidest Mavericks from Mega Man X. But uh, only if this video gets uh, 500 likes. Yep, that's the only way I'll make that video. And uh, you also have to subscribe. If, if those don't happen, I won't make that video. Believe me. I won't do it. Okay, maybe I will, but still do still do those things.